boost again. Ah. What's good YouTube, Ash Bash back again with another video. And I wanna start off by saying shout out to the Sneaker Podcast. Uh, you can find it on iTunes and all that. Uh, been listening to it for about two, two, three months now. And it's just dope. I was randomly searching my phone for a podcast to listen to and I came across the Sneaker one. Bunch of guys from Montreal and Canada. Dope, dope, dope chats about dope sneakers. One of the guys in there, Alex, is a big Adidas head. He obviously works at the Adidas store in Montreal and he's always talking about Adidas kicks, which is probably why I've been getting into EQTs because he's gassed them up so much, checked them out more, and I've liked them. And this pair right here is a pair that he mentioned that I just totally missed it when they come out on release and finally got it in my hands. So enough talking, let's get to the kicks. So boom, comes in a standard Adidas box, but well, it's a black box and not much on that side. What does it say for colorway? Adidas don't say colorway for some reason. But anywho, it is the Adidas NMD R2 and it is a collaboration with White Mountaineering. If you haven't heard of White Mountaineering, it's a Japanese company. They do like fashion stuff, basically clothes and all that. And they focus on more outside wear, obviously going with the mountaineering theme. But they've been doing collabs with Adidas lately and every single one has been dope. The EQT 9317 was fire and these ones right here also fire. Another reason which made me pick these up is they're in the R2 model of the NMDs, the new model. And I'm sure you saw like a couple weeks ago, Adidas released a shitload of colours in the NMDs. I actually tried a couple on, it was actually comfortable. Didn't pull the trigger on them because I wanted these. Finally found them. There you go. And boom, here is the kick in all its glory. Adidas NMD R2, my first pair of R2s. Very, very gassed, I finally got them. One of the first little touches, which I think is very cool, is across the toe box of the shoe here. It's got white mountaineering and Adidas written on it. You find if most white mountaineering collabs, they always have their logo plastered all over the shoe, which I like. Why do a collab if you're gonna hide it? One of the things that separates the NMD R1 from the R2 is you usually have a big block here, here and here, on a regular R1s, where as you can see, it's clean on this side, except for a couple of little lines there, and then you've got this big, massive block on the inside there, which is pretty sweet. Inside the shoe, you can see the big white mountaineering triangle there with Adidas, and you've also got it on the tongue as well, which is very cool. And on the back of the shoe, you've got another white mountaineering logo with Adidas. And you've got white mountaineering on the pull tab as well. And now this bit right here is the coolest bit. Let me quickly show you. If you put both trainers together, it creates the actual white mountaineering triangle, which I think is a very nice touch. Well played to both companies. So yeah, these kicks are super fire. As I was saying, they released a bunch of R2s a couple weeks ago quite a few dope ones in that but I didn't want to pull the trigger because I wanted to wait for these as I knew I liked them so once I found them went for it straight away enough waffling get to the on foot let go on a break new grounds got a new crib but you can't come round this year hate is gonna big me up this year no one's gonna hold me down yeah i'm the shit yo where to my bowels i don't wear snapbacks y'all wear crowns price is rich if i wasn't this blick price is big if i wasn't this proud yeah eight years sitting on top yeah i've been there done that had that what before i did rap had two two jobs hip-hop gram and then i went pop trade your life for my life let's swap go clean them and dad's on top with them and we're back so yeah with this shoe i actually went for a uk 11 in regular NMD Prime Knits, I wear a UK 10. They fit me quite snug, but comfortable. I've got 10 in both the two pairs that I have. Whereas these ones I had to go for a UK 11. Luckily, I was able to try on the new NMD R2s in the store. Tried on the 10, way too tight. Didn't do half sizes anyways. Tried on the 11, they were perfect. Gambled on the 11 on these. So I was buying them online. And they fit me perfect. So, I... It's tough when we're talking about sizes. People always ask me, oh, what size should I get in this? What size should I get in that? 
but I don't know if it's my feet are weird or how I like my stuff fitting, but certain things just don't work for me. Like Ultra Boost 3.0s, I have to go up like a whole size, where some people, they go down half a size or a whole size, so I can't work it out. But for me, in the R2s, I go up a full UK size or a, yeah, full UK size or half a size if you, um, what, NMDs, regular ones. But anywho, enough waffling. These are fire, very gas I've got them. I might look out for the white mounting airing EQTs, possibly, but I've got two pairs of them now, so I probably will sleep on them. These are fire. If you see them, pick them up. Black pair are also dope. I wouldn't get them as well because it's a bit overkill. But fire, fire, flames. Hope you enjoyed this video. More videos to come. Gym, sneakers, that's what I do. Ashbrass signing off. Later.